Now I'm going to show you how to measure the weight of a solid. In this case, I'm going to measure um, one gram of potassium chloride. So I, I want to make sure that I measure out from this container one gram of potassium chloride. I'm going to put this into this weighing boat. So remember, we do not add our chemicals or salts or our powders directly to the balance. We put them in either a weighing boat or we use a weigh paper. Today I'm going to use a weigh boat. So again, in order to measure the mass of the, the solid, I have to measure the mass of the container that the solid is going to be in first. And then I'm going to measure the mass of the solid plus the weigh boat in this case, and then get the weight of my powder or of my um, salt by subtracting the weight of the salt plus boat minus the weight of the weigh boat itself. So before I put my weigh boat on, I'm going to make sure I tear or zero the balance. Then I put my weigh boat on, and it's telling me that my, the mass of my weigh boat is 2.22 grams. Then I'm going to use a spatula, this is a spatula that can be used to take out quantities of the salt from the container onto the weigh boat. So I'm going to do that. So actually when I've added a gram, it's supposed to be 3.22 grams. That would give me the weight of the weigh boat plus the salt. And I try to add the salt carefully so that I do not um, spill the salt over onto the weigh boat. So if you notice, I'm way past the 3.22 mark. So I have to take out some of my salt. So because I don't want to put it back into my container, I will put the excess salt onto the skim wipe. And it's telling me it's So if you notice, the volume keeps going down the more I take out. So it's at 3.75, or it's 3.7, between 3.75 and 3.76 grams. So I take it out because I want it to be 3.3, 3.22. So I take out some more. I'm getting there. So it's 3.15, so I gradually add a little bit from the spot spatula. So it's actually given me around the figure of 3.5. 2 to 3.23 grams. So I have been able to measure one gram of solid, of salt, 
by actually measuring the weigh boat first and then the mass of the weigh boat plus the salt is 3.22. So if I subtract the mass of the weigh boat and the salt, so if I subtract, sorry, the mass of my weigh boat from the mass of the weigh boat and the salt, I get one gram. So that is how you can use your um, pan, electronic pan, in order to measure solids.